Hi, Superspruce here, back with another Realm Grinder video, episode 73, and I've grinded up to E110 gems in the treasury here in Reincarnation 32, and I can actually grab this. I didn't notice it was cost at E8 drill coins, but it does, so that's interesting. So it's two additional upgrade slots for the Warfare branch, and then one for, I think, since I'm Goblin, for the Economics branch. So that, that can be pretty overpowered. I feel like... Yeah, 150, I think I use in my regular goblin build. So, this is just faction coin chance. This is, this one's not as good. This one's just real exchange bonus. This one's non-unique building, so that's useless. Could try to get mana regen, but I don't really think, I think this is much better. And then, actually, that that's, an, that's another trophy. It's the 385 upgrade one. Apparently, that was my 385th upgrade. So, okay, and then there's the warfare researches. So, I don't think this one's that only affects these buildings. I don't think that's very useful. Oh, yeah, 180 is very powerful. But maybe I, I can get something else that is even better. Like, there's... A, this isn't... It grows over time research, so it could be very good. And this is... Um, while Blood Frenzy is active, increased mana regen based on the amount of assistance you own. Um, it could be okay, but I don't think it's that good. I feel like... W180 is extremely powerful, so I'll get that. I could get Mana Regen. I'm not really sure how much I need it, though. Like, I... Um, I mean, maybe it could be powerful. It's based on the amount of assistance you own. And if I have Sunforce Assistance, that could be extremely powerful. So I'm going to use that. And that will be Droblin Research Build 3. I went into Load Template instead of Save Template. Okay, except, you know, I, I probably made a bad decision because I didn't actually get, I didn't actually buy all these. So it goes to 528 and it looks like I'm going up to 528 and everything. So that's good. And there's a few researches I've, I have unlocked, which is increased maximum mana and mana re regen based on the amount of artifacts you own. And this is actually extremely powerful. Like, if I have, like, this could be a replacement for this because... I mean, it's in a growth over time research, but, um, yeah, and, and some of these are pretty weak. Like, I feel like this one, actually, it's, no, it's a, it grows over time research, so maybe better. I still feel like it could, this could be better for that if I wanted to do a little bit more of a rush build. And then, it looks like I can't unlock these. This is just, this looks like excavating, and I just, yeah, th that one I can't do. And the other research I unlocked was a warfare one. It's... Gain one additional assistant for every 100 seconds of combo strike activity time. That could really be powerful if I'm if I'm doing it for a while. But maybe, like, it, it, it'll take a long time for that to become powerful. Also, I'm thinking of making a new build that is more of a rush build. So, yeah, that, that's a thing. But at least I, have, I can see what the new researches are. Casting all my spells here, I can get all the way up to E113 gems. This isn't the most powerful rush build, and I like to do things quicker than this, because this is this is pretty slow. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to join, I think people say Dwangel is very powerful. So I'm going to try a Dwangel research build. So good um, angels, and then I'm not sure which bloodline I'm going to pick. Maybe I'll actually grind some new researches. Actually, I, I changed my mind. I'm sorry. I, I'm much of a flipper flopper. I'm I'm going to make a Dwery research build out of the research as I have. And then I'm planning on grinding on like grinding all these requirements for the researches in Re Reincarnation 34. Apparently, that's like the big shift. And that's where Dwangels become better than Dwery's. So with Dwery's, I definitely use Fairy Bloodline. So Fairies... Uh, Hopefully, I'll get the faction coins. I excavated a lot beforehand, so it may be tricky to get the faction coins, which is annoying. But now I have to pick and choose which re which researches I want. So this is going to be a rush build. It's not like a... It's not going to be an it grows over time build. So like something like this may not be all that powerful. Maybe instead... Like I think this one's pretty good. I'm, I think I'm going to want to go for the unique buildings more than the non-unique buildings. I may want this duration of all spells, like especially if I get some good mana regen. So I'm thinking of getting that one, 
I'll probably get this one. Maybe there's some better ones. Though, oh yeah, this one's very powerful. 215 is probably better than 135. I mean, it, it depends on how much max main I'm going for. There's also this, which is weak. There's this one, which is also weak. And then there's some, like, this one isn't that good. This one, oh yeah, this one's very powerful. Remember, I, this one's pretty weak. It's just like a max mana boost. And then this is, again, this is a rush build, so I don't want sort of like an 8 over time research. I feel like 500, I feel like I should go for 135, 200, 215, and then 330, and then 500. That's what I feel like I should do for this build. That, that'll be my spellcraft branch. Also, I cast these spells to try to get some faction coins. It looks like it's it's working at least a little bit. Maybe if I, yeah, tax collection will give me all the faction coins I need. So now I'm, I'm not low on faction coins, which actually really helps. All the heritages really help things. And, and just the researches. So this will allow me to get 330. And then craftsmanship branch. Okay, first, I feel like I think I want Dwarven Forges to be like the biggest building here. So... I feel like I should get something like like this. Increase the production of Inns and Dwarven Forges by 60% per enchanted field you own. And get increased the production of Dwarven Forges based on the amount of Dwarven Forges you own. I feel like that is the most powerful one. I mean, I could get that. I, I really am not sure. Like, those researches really confuse me over, like, w which... Like, what I should actually do with them. But any anyway... I should probably get like something like C250 or C400. I feel like C400 is a little better because it's not reliant on offline time in the reincarnation. So I'll get that. And then I feel like I don't need this mana regen. Um, this is this assistant one may be nice, but it's based on time spent offline in this reincarnation. And also Sunforce assistance is just going to do so much more than that. So that, that's not very good. I feel like I should just go for some production ones. Like here is neutral buildings, based on the amount of good and evil buildings. These are technically neutral buildings. I think, I I think Dwarven Forge is a neutral building. That that's what I'm gonna assume. I mean, unless there's a better one here, and I don't think these are a lot good. I feel like, I feel like this one's better. Like like I should I should see a big production bump. Yeah, I I do. So I pick I pick the right one, and here I can pick one. 50 and then that's it that, that's literally it there's also this 520 that i sort of ignored it's increase the clicking reward of diamond pickaxe based on the amount of dwarven forges you own and also increase the faction coin chance bonus of diamond pickaxe okay i don't think that's really useful so there's that branch now the divine branch hopefully let, let's see there's probably some good ones here like this is a good ma max mana one if, if i want that, but I may want some other things. Here is this, the sort of the luck one. I'm not really sure if I want this luck one. It may be good, but it may not be good. This is the increased assistance production based on mana regen, and I feel like that's still, I should still get that. And I feel like this is enchanted fields. Maybe I should not go for dwarven forges and go for enchanted fields instead. I'm really not sure. This is, this is like a big debate. Like, should I, like, maybe I picked the wrong choice. Like, maybe I should get C E410 and E, or, and then, no, D, no, D225. I'm really not sure. I'm just going to, I'm just going to use what I'm using here. I'm going to, I think I should get D290, though. That one's pretty good. And then probably just get something like, yeah, D245, maybe D200. Divine Reacher's researches actually aren't that good. So I feel like I'll just get D245 and and D200. And I, have, I even have one left. Okay, I'll, I'll get D400. Just because the other researches are very weak compared to like what I have here. I mean, I could try to get this mana regen one. Maybe that's what I should do. It's a weak mana regen one. And honestly, with this mana regen... Actually, no. I can, I can just get... S500, and that's going to be a much more powerful mana regen. So I'll just get D400. If it requires some luck, whatever. That, that's what I'm going to do anyway. 
so here with the craftsmanship branch, this there is. What? Let's see. I can get. I can do these, but that isn't that good. I don't need this one. I could try to get this one. I'm not sure if that's better than. Then I think it's better than E50. But no, okay. One thing I will do is E290. I I, I need that one. It's just going to be a given. And then let's see. This one's pretty good for production. Now there's some really good ones down here. Like, yeah, this one is powerful. And yeah, I feel like I should get this one. I should probably get... This is, a, this is just an additive mana regen that is not very good, I don't think. And then I should probably just get these production ones. Maybe I'll get reduced cost multiplier. I feel like I don't want this, like this research here, if I want to like... I mean, this is... Maybe I should just go for Enchanted Fields. I feel like I'm making the wrong decision by going for Dwarven Forges instead of Enchanted Fields. Even though I thought, like, the last build went for Spider Sanctuaries instead of Goblin Banks. So, that's what's, like, so confusing. So, like, like that's what... Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna get 150, 200, and maybe I should get some reduced the cost multiplier researches. Because I, f I feel like that could end up being, like, a, a powerful thing. So, yeah, I'll, I'll just get that. And maybe it's not, that's not all that good, but it'll do something. And now with the... Can I... I can't get... Fi I, I can't get 500. I'm, okay, I'm just going to cast some spells so I can, I can afford 500, because this one just gives me so much mana regen. It's just, it's just worth it. So now this branch is... There's just a lot of stuff here. Here's actually... It looks like... I unlocked this research, 495, and I could have just unlocked it, like, just now. And it's another assistance production one. And if this is multiplicative with D320, that could be extremely powerful. Like, I, I, I assume all these researches are multiplicative. So, yeah, the, it seemed multiplicative based on what happened to my coins per second. So, I think assistant production ones are very powerful. You get your prestige factions bloodline for free and this is yeah this is a powerful research i should get that and actually this a lot of these are powerful i'm just i just keep picking them left and right this is another production of all buildings based on the time spent playing as other factions so let's see what else there is there's a spell duration one it's basically the amount of faction coins found that may be good this one's even better though it's production of all buildings based on faction coins found here's a good assistance one and I may want that. So maybe, maybe I'll pick that for my fifth research. Like, this one isn't great. This one isn't great. Um, I don't think this one is all that powerful. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just get the assistant one. Like, I feel like that could do a lot. Like, especially with all the assistant production stuff I have. So now, I just have one more branch to, to utilize here. And this is the warfare branch. So, here, this is non-unique buildings. I'll just ignore that. I don't think that one's all that useful. Except, yeah, this one's powerful. Need to get that. And is there anything else that's really good? But yeah, this one. Extremely powerful. And probably, yeah, a lot of these actually are pretty powerful. Like, if you go farther down. Like, I feel like, like, this is, like, these are just based on, like, clicking... Like, this is just based on the amount of trophies you unlock, and this is the ba um, based on the amount of excavations you've made. Maybe clicking reward isn't as powerful as, as I think it is, but whatever. I think the last one I should probably pick is 180. And this is going to be Dwery Research Build 1. So now let's put this build to the test. How powerful is this build, actually? And... Here we go, E119, it's powerful. It's enough to get me all the way to the end of the reincarnation. And hopefully with enough pushing, it'll allow me to get to reincarnation 34. Also here's the trophy, 7,500 blacksmiths. Yay. The next one's probably 10,000, which is the last, no, it's 12,000. How am I supposed to get that? Well, anyway, this build is powerful and I'm definitely satisfied with, with it. So let's just, get all the way to the end of the reincarnation. There is actually one thing I want to do before I reincarnate, though. Actually, there's a 
there's multiple things I want to do. You, the one problem with this build is that the faction coins you need to set it up is are just tricky to get. Like there's like it's like actually like like I feel like I should definitely do this after my druid research build. So I can just do yeah, Dwaries all the way down here. It's weird. So many of the builds start with the letter D that like something that's just like that seems like it starts in the beginning of the alphabet actually is like one of the latest ones. So anyway, the two things that I, I need to do or that I'll try to do is one of them is getting the tr trying to get the equivalent of that flame artifacts. Like there's, there's an equivalent one for like the good factions. And oh, it looks like I just got another research. 495, um, E495, which is um, increase the production of Bruno's bonus from gems, based on the amount of Dark Temples you own. That could be good for the Drawbun build, but I'm not even using the Drawbun build anymore. I'm just using this Dwary one, which is so much more powerful. So anyway, there's this artifact that I'm trying to get, which is like the equivalent of this. It's, it's this one here. And I think it requires the same amount of excavation. So 3250... And then I have to go beyond that. So just go, go up to 3150 and just buy all the royal exchanges I can. And then the other thing I'm going to go for this reincarnation is a secret trophy. Which I think I sort of know how to get. Um, like I've seen some clues on it. I'm not exactly sure how to get it. But it's it's called Vanishment. And I think it's based on offline production. So I'm actually going to wait until Sunforce gives the offline production bonus. Which will put, probably be the one useful thing about Sunforce offline production. Like that's like the one time that's actually gonna be useful instead of just it being complete garbage. So yeah, so yeah, there's this artifact, it's the same chance, that's what I thought it was gonna be. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna leave this like here for an hour to try to get this RNG thing. Right now it's affecting Hall of Legends to affect the Dwarven Forge. Actually it just moved to Royal Castle, which is even more useless than the Hall of Legends. So and then, well, the reason why I'm doing this is, one, to wait for the Sunforce offline production boost, then two, to allow me to actually get these excavations, like, get more excavations here. Because I feel like if I get a lot of excavations, that'll be, that'll give me a better chance. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.